Hello guys and welcome back to Lead Logics. This is the find mode in a binary search tree. It is a lead code easy and the number for this is 501. I am going to tell you such a simple approach for this question that uh, you will can you can do it in any interview or in any coding or prompts. So the let's first come to the question what the question actually is. We are given a root of a binary search tree with duplicates and we have to return all the modes and the most uh, modes what are the modes? modes are the number uh, or the element which occur the most number of times like for this for this tree one occurs one time and two occurs two times so two is actually the mode and uh, the for root equal to zero we have only z uh, root we have the mode as zero because zero occurs one times so similarly we have to find all the elements which occur uh, in uh, which occur the most number of times in the uh, binary search tree so the uh, the mode is as you know most frequently frequently occurred element and to find the mode we perform and we can perform an in order traversal keeping the track of the current element uh, its count and the maximum count seen so far of the current element or the with element uh, with the highest occurrence so uh, the approach will involve keeping up of a track of the previous node, account of the current node, and the maximum. So we need to define uh, these three. So first of all, we would need a previous node initially pointing to null, and then in count equal to one, and also a max equal to zero. So the previous is used to keep a track of the previous node, the count is used to count the occurrences of the current node value in the traversal and the max will store the max value of the count. Then we need to perform an in order traversal. So but first we'll check if the root is not equal to zero. Because if root will be equal to that, we have to return an empty array. So this is the. Otherwise, we'll define a list. Uh, we are using a list instead of an array because we do not know how many modes can be there in the uh, actual binary tree so first we will store it in the uh, array list and then we can maybe put it inside a array because if we define the array first then uh, if we don't know the how many modes can be there so we'll define how we'll define the size of the array so let's put it into a list first and then we'll put it into an array afterwards so we can define a function known as traverse and uh, what it will take it will take the tree node and it will take the list the list node of mode okay and in the list we will get the modes from this function so we can here define equal to new end and it will be modes dot size now we can put the modes into the array And from here we can simply return the result array and it will be actually return result and now we need to define the traverse function. So 
the traverse function will take a tree node which is the root and the list of integers which is the modes. So this is the signature of the function. Now here first we'll check if root equal equal to null. Then we will return simply return nothing because this is void. We'll return from the control. Otherwise we'll call for the left subtree. First because we are doing a in order traversal. So root dot left comma modes. Otherwise t is not equal to null. And if root dot this line, these lines will occur when we are uh, there is actually no more left element and uh, the function returns from this traverse root dot left. So when these line will this these line will run on that particular instance. And I am writing the logic as previous is not equal to null and the root dot value is equal to previous dot value. Then we'll increase the count plus plus because count is actually the occurrence of current element and uh, we have the current element equal to the previous element so we'll put a count plus plus otherwise we'll put a count equal to one and uh, we also need to update the max after this so we'll go outside this we'll update the max if max is greater than no if actually count is greater than max then max equal to count ok and modes dot clear because we found the element with the greater occurrence than the max so we need to delete all the elements which are in the modes currently and uh, we'll add the current element in the mode this is we got value. There is also one condition if what if the count is equal equal to the max. So in that case in that case we'll add simply add the current element it also in the list. That is the dot value. So we have added this previous equal to root and since it is a in order traversal so at last we have to call for the root for root dot right and modes let's try to run it okay seems fine everything is fine um, let's submit it accepted you can see a good runtime and a good memory now let's talk about the complexity analysis of this code meanwhile if you want to take a screenshot of the code please you can do it this is the first part so the time complexity for this problem is actually o of n because we visit each node once during the in order traversal and the space complexity is actually the O of k because we at most store the k number of uh, modes and the worst case the k can be n because all the modes have can have same value so it will be O of k that is k is the number of modes in the binary search tree. So this was a very simple solution to the problem and it is fast too. Please, I hope you like the video. Please do like the video, do share it with your friends, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.